from the producers of Law and Order and CSI, we bring to you the East Harlem Cops. We've got the drama. Stop! Stop! We've got the victims. Give me the money! No! Give me the money! We've got the suspect. You're the suspect. Oh my God. Can we start all over? Welcome to East Harlem, a bustling, colorful neighborhood in the heart of New York City. Home of Esperanza Preparatory Academy, a 6th through 8th grade public middle school where students have been using technology to stretch their thinking. In the fall, 6th and 8th grade students were asked the question, how can technology help us spread a message? The goal was ambitious yet feasible create a public service ad campaign, including a video and a PowerPoint presentation, which they would have to deliver to three guest judges on the last day of class. And they would do it all in under 18 sessions. Students began learning the ABCs of media literacy, defining and applying terms like media, genre, intended audience, and message. Students watched and analyzed promotional commercials and learned that genres of media are designed to please specific demographics. Then they made their own promos that included the characteristics of a genre they were assigned. Now on today's show we have a ram that almost starved to death. Freeze! It wasn't me! <laughs> Come with me! Violence. We had to do a promo on a certain genre and mine just lose. Okay, when us go back to turn us to Weatherman. Um, today is cold. What else? That's it. We used the dolls as the actor. Dennis was the weatherman. And I was the reporter. Ha! Huh, we gotta go to the news reporter and friend of anger, Phoenix Reno. I'm at the wrong airport! Equipped with the advertising lingo, students determined the messages of their public service campaigns. They drew from life experience. Oh, we could talk about um, people smoking around pregnant women, that how it could hurt their baby. And I just came up with it because I know that my sister-in-law was like coughing a lot. She was getting hurt when my stepfather used to smoke around her. Yeah, I'm actually having a baby. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> and I was wrong. He just caught, he just blew smoke plate in my face. We looked it up online and it said that like um, cigarettes have like um, stuff that you clean the floor with and um, nicotine and um, it, have, it also have um, ammonia. A persuasive technique we was using for the video was everybody's doing it. One day, as two kids walk by, a cigarette smoker. Hey, this guy is smoking. We should really take his cigarettes. They look cool. Sure! Because since they saw the guy smoking, they thought it was cool to do it too. Students put in after-school hours to complete their videos and PowerPoint presentations. They had to include rationales for the campaign's message, audience, persuasive technique, and had to design a logo and slogan for their campaign. Pretty much we stayed like for hours in school just looking up research and see what we needed just for us to get our answer for our PowerPoint. Finally, the day of reckoning had come. Three guest judges had arrived to watch the budding advertisers present their videos and rationales, including an independent radio producer, a reporter for the New York Daily News, and a student at Columbia University. When I came to the classroom, I was particularly impressed by the use of humor in the projects, um, compelling storytelling, clear and sharp messages. I was really impressed by the way the students chose their audience and really worked to get their message across. At first, I was kind of like embarrassed to, um, to talk in front of them. Um, but then, like after, like we got like the feedback, I, I kind of felt good because they gave us like good advice. So let's say just in case that we do next time. Today, students at EPA say the public service announcement project taught them how to use the language of advertising and how to deliver confident presentations in public. Lessons that will stick with them as they go on to high school and beyond. I'm 
remember like the vocabulary words especially because I didn't know some of them and what they mean and I didn't know like media and stuff like that. Um, the, the promos that we did, of course. Um, the genres that we studied at. Um, I don't remember how, how hard it is um, to like do like a simple commercial that is just like five seconds short, 15 seconds short. The day that we had to um, actually um, perform um, the video in the auditorium, I made everybody laugh in the video. I'm like, yeah, I'm funny.